the damage is not that bad and uh, tomorrow I'm gonna feel uh, a lot more pain than this silly thing on my elbow. Really looking forward to it because normally in this peloton uh, the other guys let me suffer in the mountains and hopefully tomorrow it's gonna be the opposite way. We're going to use exactly the bike setup like we used in, in Peru Bay. I mean, it's proved to be successful now for many, many times and many years, and uh, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Try to do as much as possible for the riders. That means the specialized Roubaix bike, special tubulars, and we uh, added also some gel underneath the handlebar tape. Obviously, you have to approach it a little bit different because we're not having like a full team of classic experts, so we have to look after some others as well. Um, but we have the capability by technology, we have the, the course know-how, that's for sure. So, well, there's, there's nothing to, uh, to worry about for us. That's, uh, that's the difference with probably a lot of other teams who just don't know how to approach it and what to do. We have the experience of Paris-Roubaix and uh, the most of the riders who never seen a, a pavé, they trust us and they trust our experience, so they just follow our info. I heard the uh, weather forecast, it should rain and <laughs> honestly I don't know how to go over the cobbles in rain. It's already uh, hard and dangerous uh, in dry conditions. I think I will watch some uh, YouTube videos from Paris Bay when it was raining. Maybe I, I can uh, find some good tips how to survive the cobbles in rain. I never did uh, those cobbles in the rain. So for me it's also going to be a surprise, but for sure you need to have more luck and you need to handle the bike ride. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a big circus tomorrow. So I'm looking forward for it.